What is happening everyone? Shibby2142 here with another gameplay commentary on Battlefield Bad Company 2. So sit back and relax and enjoy. So when I started playing, I noticed I was not recording, so this is about halfway through the round. There's still plenty of gameplay, so that's good. I will be playing Medic on Valparaiso. This is the rush game type where attackers have to plant the charge on the comm site and defenders have to kill the attackers and disarm the comm sites. Pretty straightforward, and here we go. This is the third stage of the map, and they just got the comm sites, so right away I'm going to fall back because I will literally be in their spawn, so I'm going to try and take some cover here. So I'm going to try and grab some ammo inside this house. It's some decent cover. Like I said before, this is now their spawn. So anyone that is back here that is not aware of that was just not paying attention. And I'm going to try and trade some rounds through the wall here with this medic in the dumpsters across the way. But he takes me out, so now I'm at the fourth stage. And I'm going to spawn at the hilltop. One thing I have a beef with is when your squad pushes up so far you can't spawn on them. It's a gameplay mechanic that makes it so, you know, balancing reasons and whatnot. But it is annoying when I think they're still in the range what would be acceptable. And that does not happen. This is kind of an interesting sequence here. Because I'm just, you know, running up towards here. This is where the enemy will be. And uh, someone nope. had the audacity just to completely own this forest. So that was kind of an interesting capture on camera. I mean, that was, you know, meticulously placed C4 to destroy all the cover. Which is a good move. I mean, I'm not, not denying that. And uh, I'm going to have a good little run here. Just, uh, you know, taking cover kind of behind this rock. Where I like to say, setting up shop is when you throw down a med pack, you kind of stay by it, so if you get hit, you start getting healed right away, and it feels like you're really just a tank of a player. So I'm going to kind of reload here, you know, reload, cancel, do all that good stuff, and I'm just going to keep taking out the waves by uh, using, you know, the aim down the sights, right click, and then the burst fire with the MG36, definitely my favorite meta gun. And the reason for that is the recoil is really easy to manage, and I like how it already has this nice scope, which does not take up a spec 1 slot, so I can use the lightweight perk, which is what I like to do. Keeps you moving fast around the map, and it's also really nice when you try to quick strafe to avoid fire. So, whatever little burst of speed it gives you, I enjoy it. So right now I'm 23 and 5, whatever that is worth. Uh, as you saw there, I zoomed in a little bit on what I'm seeing here. This is a zoom in of a zoom in, kind of a cool little effect I'm doing. So I had no idea I had any chance of killing this guy. I mean, I'm shooting rocks. I clip his head there, or some part of his upper torso. It's not a headshot, so definitely not part of his head, unless the hitboxes were screwed up. But that was a little surprising. I mean, I wasn't really expecting to kill that guy, so just helping out my teammates and whatnot, trying to get some uh, cleanup kills, being the garbage man. That's all good. So I'm running around here reviving dudes. If you're uh, trying to get more points per minute on Battlefield Bad Company 2, being a medic is just so easy. If you're Battlefield aware and you revive guys, and as long as you don't do the, don't revive me, bro, and you revive them and you just get some silly kill, that's not really that cool. But once again, I think a medic is so much more useful than just being a bush wookie the whole round sitting in a bush with your uh, big old m95 thinking your uh, 3 and 12 uh, score is really good and all that stuff so shooting some guys picking them off whatnot and i see the choppers so i'm gonna think all right let's work on that let's take him down choppers are annoying especially if they're whoring it the whole round he's just kind of not quite circle strafing but strafing back and forth he will have his uh, gunner shooting here momentarily, but that's one thing uh, on Battlefield Vietnam, the DLC for this uh, game. If you get a really good chopper pilot, which most of them do play that, he can pretty much just run the whole map by himself. And without the Tracer Dart and or Carl Gustav in Vietnam, um, it's just really hard to take him out. So the mentality here will be 
take down the chopper gunner. So here we go. Chopper horde take down. The knees will be the heavy machine gun right up this little uh, ladder here. You also need the Blackhawk. Um, yeah, the Blackhawk's going to be an important part of this equation, and I do not see it. So, uh, Chopper Horde Takedown mission definitely failed. And then I'm going to use the machine gun shield here. I'm not really sure what you want to call that as cover. And then the little APC Bradley down there is going to start firing upon me. And I'm going to say, I'm not having this bro chacho, little Russian badger there. Love you, man. Anyways. I see that A has been armed, so I'm going to go over here and see what's going on, and then I get clipped, which is a great spot, so good choice by the enemy there. When you arm the site and then go up there to uh, overwatch the comm site, that's really good, so I'm impressed by their tactics there. So I'm just going to take the default hilltop spawn, it's going to put me by the sheet metal garage, which when I'm playing attacker on this map, a lot of people don't understand you can be shot through, and especially it's nice if you want to lob a grenade back there. Really easy kills, so the the shooting through objects in this game, especially like houses, is a little bit different than Call of Duty. I was just playing the 24-7 Nuketown last night on the Xbox with some buddies, so I, was, uh, I don't even want to talk about that. But in this game, you don't really shoot through all objects, such as houses. You blow them up, you blow up the walls, so it's a little bit different if you're coming over from the Call of Duty side. So uh, if you are, I mean, welcome. This is Battlefield. I really enjoy it, it's a lot more dynamic than anything else I've played, as in the battlefield is constantly changing, it's not going to be the same game every time because, oh, there's not going to be, oh, the sniper up in the house, nope, it's going to be, that house is going to get ripped down, and it's just going to be, it's going to be different every time, so that's what I like about battlefield, it's dynamic, it's a great word to use to describe it, so it's a dynamic battlefield. As you saw there, I got killed by a grenade, I can only dance around five or six of them for so long, which uh, happens especially in that little uh, corner flank of this stage. There's just a lot of grenades all the time, which is all right. So we got the bush Wookiee here. He's got his lawn chair set up. He's just taking pop shots at the Blackhawks. So, you know, God bless him, but he's doing whatever he wants. And uh, let's see here. I mark the APC. That's one thing you guys can incorporate in your gameplay is the marking. My button, I believe, is Q. There is no com rows in this game, which a lot of people don't like. I, whatever, don't really mind. And then I'm going to take this guy out through the house. So right there, I hit him through the doorway. I was not hitting him through the actual wall because the wall would need to be destroyed. But you can shoot through doors, like I said before. Not all objects you can shoot through, but a lot. So I thought that was kind of cool. That wasn't a little bit of a slow-mo. Uh, sometimes I do that so you can see better of what I'm really doing. Kind of doing a little uh, crouch shooting here. A tree falls on me, but luckily does not kill me. This is not uh, the old school battlefield Vietnam with uh, the spikes that people set up and you die. So <laughs> thankfully that is not the case. Uh, I'm going to toss out a med pack here. You know, once again, quote unquote, setting up shop. And that's mentally what I think. So the Black Hawk is going to be firing upon us. There's a dead Bradley. There's just a lot going on right now, which is one thing I love about battlefield. This medic is going to run up here, but one thing he did wrong was he didn't pick a target. He started shooting me first, he started shooting my buddy first. So that's one thing you guys need to do. If you're in a flank, make sure you take guys out, at least who you don't see you right away. So that'd be like priority number one. But you especially don't want to start shooting one guy, shoot another guy, to like make both of them aware of your presence. I don't know, that's just one thing that's a no-no. Our team got the win there, which is the important thing. Love this map, love the game type. So everyone was kind of pulling their weight there, which was good. I ended that round 33-7. and seven. Anytime I have a KD of over 2, I'm happy with that, so I'll take it. And let's see here. I'm almost level 50, but, you know, no rush to that. Once again, guys, I am Shibby2142. You can see that's my player name, YouTube name, Twitter name, Facebook name, etc., etc. You'll have some uh, bonus clips here of some future gameplays and whatnot. Going to take down the Chopper Gunner. So he's going to be practicing a little thing I like calling skydiving, which is always entertaining and satisfying when you shoot a guy out of the chopper and then he just falls out. So great stuff there. Next clip, we're going to be practicing a pretty pro technique, scopeless AT4. So I'm still trying to get better at that, but once again, super satisfying when you kill people like that. Unfortunately, the chopper doesn't necessarily blow up right away, but I do pretty much wreck the whole crew. So this is just kind of icing on the cake. And then finally, the last little uh, 
bonus clip I'm bringing to you is vehicle on vehicle prawns. So this was kind of a sniper shot from a long ways away from a tank on a heavy metal. I'm not a huge fan of the map, but there you go, taking down the chopper there. That essentially is the video, guys. Thank you for watching. You know who I am, so just check me out on my other media networks, and I will catch you at a later date.